Hey guys, so for you let you know that it seems like uh, it's finished or that we are gonna get a retina display on the iPad 3 um, and some of you may not be, um, you know, this, was, this has been something that's been in the air for quite some time. People were thinking that we were gonna, gonna get it on iPad 2 but now, you know, big sites like Digitimes have uh, said and verified that this is uh, kind of the real thing um, but uh, yeah obviously we have to see about that but uh, you know these guys are saying that the iPad 3 retina display is gonna have the resolution of 2048 times times 5036 it's not a widescreen aspect radio as uh, some of Apple's uh, 30 inch uh, LED cinema displays uh, but uh, it is this QXGA um, kind of technology that they are using not the WQXGA that's in, in widescreen format 16 by 10 so it will have the same kind of aspect radio 4 by 3 <clears throat> and uh, that's that's a lot of pixels and uh, pe some people don't like obviously the 4.3 aspect radio uh, but uh, yeah th it seems like that's what they're gonna go for the manufacturers it seems uh, like it's gonna be LG and Samsung and Sharp and I've, uh, I've talked about these guys before and that I was trying to you know focus on uh, Sharp here or maybe LG um, not you know try to move away a little more from Samsung because they are you know competitors so obviously they can work together with them but I think that they want to move to other companies but uh, what I've heard and what I've talked about in other videos is that you know if, if you only take one of these display manufacturers uh, it's gonna be kind of hard for Apple to deliver because you know these devices are being sold you know millions of devices and uh, you know these um, display manufacturers really need to deliver so that's why they're going with like three uh, three you know manufacturers of the displays LG is very good at that and Samsung and Sharp obviously um, so 4x3 uh, 2048 times 1636 should start pretty soon uh, and that they could have you know the first uh, kind of iPad 3s out on the market <clears throat> in uh, December but we're probably you know they're probably just gonna launch it in, in you know March just as last year or like February um, so yeah because you know one year cycle so you know people wouldn't be pissed off and basically you may say oh is that it are we only gonna get a higher resolution on the iPad 3 well I think kind of that that could be the case I, I don't think that we're gonna see a major spec bump or anything like that I don't think we're gonna see quad core um, on the iPad 3 I would be surprised if we you know saw that but um, hey who knows um, I think the you know the big focus is obviously gonna be the retina display people are gonna buy it you know if, if they you know use put on an iPad or a retina display uh, use kind of like the same internals as an iPad 2 people will buy that thing because it does extremely high resolution uh, they will probably come up with uh, something else uh, something maybe you know improve some you know spec thing is maybe a better camera um, but if you talk about the CPU it would be kind of awesome if they you know had this new CPU maybe it's gonna have it because they usually update that um, yeah so A6 a6 retina display sounds attractive to you for me it does uh, but it's gonna be interesting uh, but uh, you know if, if you want to buy a tablet for this Christmas uh, you may want to wait just to March I mean I know it's a couple of months but seriously a retina display is kind of uh, insane insane wish um, so yeah see you.